Now we're talking about these record setting cold temperatures and it looks like that's going to continue overnight spring a couple weeks away, but we are a long way from feeling like that. Is that right, Ryan? Yeah, that is true. And uh, of course, for the syrup growers tonight is not helping at all. Temperatures already below zero now for the official reading at the airport. What I'm tracking for you tonight, this cold continuing for us. In addition to that, I'm watching a storm system that arrives on Wednesday. That one will bring us our next bout here with some snow and there is a little bit of a warm up. It's not a very impressive one, but temperatures will actually go toward normal for this time of year instead of our extended stay below normal, which has been pretty much the theme this winter. Now we're on record watch for tomorrow. The record is two degrees from 1984 for the record low and we're going to about eight below zero by tomorrow morning. All we have to do is get the clock to strike midnight and we are already there. As we look at our current stats across the area, we are now uh, sitting at officially three below zero. That's a new record for today. Today's record low was zero degrees from 2003. So we've now broken the record today. We will break it once again for tomorrow as temperatures are going to uh, start off below zero for the day. Three below is that official reading. Three below also in Gustavus, five below in Mesopotamia and two below in Newton Falls. Our other location, Austintown and Mercer, both one below zero. Now some spots may be able to get into the double digit below zero range overnight, especially some of those low lying areas that traditionally get a little bit cooler, but we'll We'll be monitoring this for you and uh, Rich will be here in the morning with the latest on those temperatures for that morning commute for clouds. They're not helping us tonight. Clouds would act as a blanket. They would have kept us from falling as much, but it's been clear all evening long winds. They're not too strong between zero and five. We're showing three right now in Youngstown, so that does give us a slight wind chill of 11 below zero. When the temperature is already below zero, even as much as five uh, mile per hour wind will take you closer to uh, 15 below zero. So certainly a cold night, another one to bundle up out there. The good news, we are quiet on radar right now. As we look at future radar, we're going to stay quiet overnight tonight by 4 a.m. Still clear skies, sunshine around for the start of your day Tuesday into the afternoon. We'll see clouds thicken a little bit. I'm watching a storm system to the north. It should stay to the north. It is a very, very small chance for perhaps a passing flurry in northern Trumbull, northern Mercer tomorrow, but we try and clear out again tomorrow night. We'll see another cold one as temperatures head close to the single digits once again into Wednesday, though we stop here into the afternoon. We start to see snow approaching with that next storm system could put an inch on the ground Wednesday night into Thursday. So eight below tonight, a new record and definitely cold tomorrow. 24, partly sunny, but becoming mostly cloudy. And we'll go to 10 for Tuesday night with broken clouds. The rest of that seven day, that threat for snow Wednesday afternoon and evening. Then that little bit of a warm up. It's small. 42 is the normal high this time of year for the day Friday. So uh, we'll call it, I guess, mild that day. But back into the 30s for the weekend, the threat for more snow. And by the way, Saturday night into Sunday, clocks go ahead one hour for daylight saving time. Eric.